Hello everyone, very good evening. Good evening and welcome to day one of our NLP masterclass. Good evening. Very good evening all. Am I audible? Can you see my screen, dear participants? Good evening. Good evening. Very good evening all. Can I get some response in the chat box? Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Very good evening all. Good evening. Fine. So good evening and once again I welcome you all to day one of our natural language processing also called as NLP masterclass day one. I hope you guys are fine and uh, yeah so we are going to continue this till day 21. So please make sure every day from 6 to 7 pm on YouTube live you can join and uh, watch and learn our contents regarding NLP starting from today. Yes, are you guys excited to learn NLP? Can we start? So for me to start, I want you guys to post down some emojis. Maybe some thumbs up or fire emoji will be good, right? Yes, post down some emojis uh, as a green signal to start the session. And once again, good evening, uh, good evening and thanks for the enormous response in the chat box. And please keep this session interactive uh, from the day 1 till the day 21 and I expect everyone to attend and give the same cooperation till the end. Good evening all. Yes. Yes, can we start? Yeah, thanks for the response of emoji. So I hope we can start with our day 1 on natural language processing. Starting from day 1. Before going into the contents, let us see about Pantech. V. Pantech e-learning was established in 2004 by four engineering graduates as a startup. So now we are of products and services on edutech domain, education and technology platform. We have 10, 100 plus direct team and direct presence in states like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh and 350k followers in social media and 10k community members and uh, we have 20 plus years in tech domain and we are a partner of intel custom product design development boards online or offline trainings internships fdps and sttps so our vision and mission is to help 10 million students to learn the technology in easy way so you are also going to be the one in that and uh, yeah before starting the session let us discuss about first what is this master class what is the format we follow regarding attendance and all so what is this master class is it's a exclusive 21 days three week learning activity uh, it is free on youtube on live session so you can join every day 6 pm on youtube just a 45 minutes every day to unlock the power of NLP mastery and e-certificate will be provided based on the attendance. Okay, so how to fill or how to mark your attendance in YouTube live class? So the answer to this question is the organizer will post a Google form link in live chat. Okay, during the live class and the participant should submit the form daily. Okay, so a minimum of 16 days of attendance is required to get a masterclass participation certificate. So if you want to avail for the masterclass participation certificate, then you need to fill at least 16 days, a minimum. So every day by the end of the session or at some point of time, the organizer will be posting down an attendance link. So every day you have to find it and fill it. And whenever, please focus on the classes and whenever the attendance link is posted. I'll be communicating to you as well that it is available. So you won't miss that as well. Okay. So are we clear with how to mark your attendance and how this process goes? If we are ready, post some response. We can start with NLP introduction. 
So from your side, what is NLP? I need some answers in the chat box. You may be uh, whatever content you have in your mind, you can post it down. What is NLP? I hope you guys know the full form natural language processing. What does that mean? Uh, what is the meaning of it? Or where it is used any applications which you are using in your day to day life? Do you guys know any of it? If you guys know, please post it down in our chat. Yes, natural language processing. Yeah, process that text, right? So which text we are going to process our human language, human understanding language. Yes, very good. Machine interaction. Yeah, some guys are trying to give correct answers. NLP is a technique by which computer can understand our human language. Yes, but if you ask me, let us have a discussion on this. If you ask me, Already we have programming languages to interact with the computer, right? So what is this natural language then is if you guys know computers understand just zeros and ones, right? If you even take whatever programming language, if you go into the programming languages like C++, Java, Python, uh, JavaScript, whatever language you have now, all those things, what they try to do is uh, they may be easy. They may be in human readable format. After you compile your code with the help of compiler and interpreter, they are translated into machine language in zeros and ones. Okay. So they can be integrated directly into the hardware. That's our computer motherboard, right? So by the hardware, it is going to give us the reply. So that's what we got uh, displayed in, uh, in the console as a result, right? So these are programming languages, but they have some syntax. So for making or for giving some instructions, we do this process. So that's programming language, but it is difficult, right? So if you want to write a program, you have to learn the entire syntax. You have to learn how to code. So it is a bit difficult for the computer to understand what we are trying to tell. So what if computer understands our English or our natural uh, or our uh, regional language? Maybe we are, if you are from South, or if you are from India, we have a lot of regional language as well, right? What if the computer understands our own language? Like if you are talking to your friend or someone, a human being, if you talk to a robot or a computer in the same way, and if they understand and give us reply or the task, if I want to do these tasks, if it does that, then that's really helpful, right? So that is what NLP is. So natural language processing is a machine learning technology. So actually how we are achieving is with the help of machine learning, it gives the computers to ability, the ability to recognize, understand and generate text and speech. So it want to first understand what we are telling, what we are communicating and what we are requesting or getting back in response, it should generate. So if it does that, that is the NLP and natural language processing is a part of this machine learning. So if your data is uh, we will see what is machine learning, what is data and all. Uh, it's complex where they are itself complex and when you add human language to it, you can't directly pass your human language to your uh, computer, right? It will get confused. Do you know why? As a human, we can understand uh, what one human is trying to convey. But how can a computer understand? Is it that much difficult if you ask me? Yes, it is. Okay. Before that, organizations today already have large values, volumes of voice as well as text data from various communication channels like emails, text message, social media, news feeds, video, audio and a lot more. And uh, they use NLP software to automatically process this data, analyze the intent or sentiment in the message and respond in real time to human communication. But if you ask me whether it is difficult, yes. Human language is actually incredibly complex and nuanced, which pose significant challenges for computers trying to understand and process it. Why? See here, this is an example. Let me just show you simple examples. Let us first focus on English. Okay. And each language is different. That is also a problem. So language is inherently ambiguous with words and phrases often having multiple meanings depends on the context with which sentence you are using with what words you are using. For example, if you refer to a bank, it can refer to financial institution like a bank where you deposit and get your money. 
at the same time there is something called as a side of a river which is river bank we used to call right so the bank has the same word it's the same word but where you are using has different meanings as a human you can understand but computer what will it do like this we have many more languages have complex rules governing word order sentence structure and grammar as well okay it is machine learning mr rajendran it is machine learning a slight process changes only in the data we'll see what is machine learning and what is the part of machine learning in nlp please wait and understanding and generating grammatically correct sentences okay so if some way if the nlp or it tries to understand us it wants to generate some result which should be grammatically correct as well right we have a lot of things adjective pronoun noun adverb we have a lot and we have a lot of tenses and it's complex each language has their own syntax set of rules grammar and all and languages are full of idiomatic expressions idioms and phrases and colloquialism that can be challenging for non native speakers and computers to understand maybe in english we used to tell caught red handed which means whether the hand is red actually the meaning of that exact sentence is caught red handed means what uh, you are trying to like you are catching a red color hand uh, does that the meaning no actually caught red handed means uh, you are trying to catch someone in the play okay so which means if someone tries to do some wrong things and you are going to interrupt and caught them in between so that is caught red handed maybe someone is trying to steal and you have caught it down so that is caught red handed but computers need to understand this that's the difficulty in nlp and figurative language such as we have metaphors similes irony these adds another layer of complexity right we already have complexity we add few more layer for example uh, some people we used to call them as night owl do you know what a night owl is the exact meaning of uh, night owl is it's a owl in the night but can you call our, your friend like he is like a batman you see a batman to be denoted something like in the night he is a owl or batman or something like that no right so a person who stays who wakes up uh later or who like who is not sleeping at night and working mostly at the night we used to call them as night owl okay so there are some complexities we have a lot of complexities in language okay and languages are constantly evolving as well okay we have new phrases meanings emerging over time that also should be keep on should be updated as well okay and communication is not just about words it also involves non verbal cues such as tone of voice right so you can tell it as a low tone or you can raise your voice and tell it as a high tone which has difference so there is mild way of speaking there is some rude way of behaving as well facial expressions body language which can be difficult for the computers to understand and interpret and what we have talked now is for english and more than that a lot of problems are there and all these are just for one language english and we have more than 7000 spoken languages in the world and each language has its own way of expressing ideas nuances cultural concepts therefore developing language processing capabilities that can effectively address the complexities of each unique language is a monumental task in the field of nlp but don't worry despite these challenges these are challenges but we have already gone through a lot we are trying to evolve in this field in this domain advances in nlp and machine learning are enabling computers to better understand and process human language opening up exciting possibilities for improved human computer interaction and communication one such application of nlp could be a chatbot or chat gpt okay let us see applications of nlp some of the applications of nlp uh, right now are we clear with the introduction any queries or can we start with the applications of nlp yes can i get some response in the chat box ai yes in the later part of the session i have introductions for the role of machine learning deep learning ai and nlp where or what role they perform please wait okay let us see the applications then we go into in depth of what happens exactly behind okay yeah so talking about the applications of nlp we without knowing we are using it in our day to day life 
search results whatever you search in your chrome or something you are getting the respective answer right maybe if you uh, if you go into the youtube you are searching for pantech e learning you are searching so you get our channel correctly okay so that is application of nlp whatever you search in your chrome you are getting the respective result right that's application of nlp smart assistants okay you can interact right uh, my friend has an iphone so if you just call hey siri call someone it is just going to call that person how it works it understands our language right siri from iphone and nowadays samsung has bixby uh, we have a lot uh, even in uh, other mobile phones we have google assistant right which is narrow it can't have that much application but still they can understand and give us some result uh, alexa from amazon and uh, language translation especially from one language to another language conversion if i hope many of you guys have used uh, this language translator from google you can actually build a one uh, if you join this nlp if you watch the contents you can create your own language translator as well email filtering if you just go into your mail you will be having a column called as spam mails right so if some mails or dangerous if it is trying to without you even opening it is now classified as spam you can do this project we will be doing it it is email filtering social media monitoring so there are some uh, uh, applications and sites which is going to tell you what all topics are trending what all words are trending right now you can find it social media monitoring it can be used to find some negative effects as well uh, in the monitoring as well and especially we are struggling with grammar right so grammar corrections uh, nowadays every application have this if you just even open gmail or any uh, like google docs and all uh, if you type anything wrongly uh, even your microsoft docs uh, document is going to give you that ms word will give you grammar correction grammarly is some applications which are well versed in it also available auto complete i hope it is available in mail or in your chrome tab if you just start type typing I haven't seen you in a while and i hope okay so automatically it is going to be completed with this sentence right hope you are doing well it is next word suggest uh, okay it is a project which we will be also doing and uh, chatbots especially we have some chatbots which is limited chatbots are actually designed for a specific task they are a bot they can give some predefined responses they can understand at the same time they are limited when you move one step further into deep learning architectures we have our generative ai introduced here uh, nlp with your generative ai complexity will give you some applications uh, which are very noteworthy like chat gpt or gemini ai now right i hope you guys have used this right have you guys used uh, chat gpt or gemini ai Uh, let me just show you if you can just go into your browser you can search for uh, chat gpt so you can ask whatever questions you want how can i help you today is nlp worth of learning so i'm going to ask a question depends on various skills and factor growing demand versatility impactful application you can see within a second whatever things i get okay uh you can ask it to write code as well maybe it is limited you have some disadvantage as well if you just ask some in depth question it is going to struggle okay so we have a lot of ai tools i hope many of you guys have used things like this right so all these things are applications of ai so are we clear with the applications of ai uh, can we just go into the session and also one more thing we are going to do this product pro project What I'll suggest you to do is you can open your browser and search for pantech dot streamlit dot app. Okay, so I have deployed a streamlit application, pantech dot streamlit dot app. Uh, let me just uh, post it later. You can click this three dot and in the settings you can just use the wide mode for a nice visibility. Uh, I'll just enter show all entries. And ask this question. So it is a text to SQL query. So if you fine tune this. you don't want to learn sql itself you can ask i have integrated a ipl dataset here so the ipl dataset is actually limited i hope so for till 2022 so if i ask show all entries and ask this question what i am getting here is what is the query and the result as well from my dataset you can see the dataset you can also use this its application deployed globally okay 
so we can also ask for example uh, show all the super over matches yes so it is going to show me all the super over games okay you can ask show all the games played at city chennai and ask the question so it is converting right this is an application of nlp you can also try this okay you are getting the result if you ask who won most number of man of or player of the match column name right player of match so these are some applications of uh, nlp so you can see according to this this is still 2022 i guess so we are having abd villiers who won 25 games a uh, man of the match so i want you guys to try as well let me just post the link as well uh, in the chat box if you guys are interested just check this and in our internship i am going to teach you guys how to make this as well okay it is very easy if you follow through our content and one more thing you can watch this session on free on youtube you can learn and if you want one step more if you want to learn more and get other benefits as well then you can join our one month certified internship on natural language processing okay so this is a one month certified internship so what are the benefits of this internship you will be getting 30 days of recorded sessions and 30 days of days of ppts for download 10 source code project downloads data sets everything one month internship certificate participation certificate 90 days of access to all the courses four hackathon in zoom where you can directly interact with me and clarify all your doubts and we will also give you the community group and to avail this internship you can get it at a discounted fee at 799 and the registration link is posted in the chat box if you want to learn more if you are interested and get all these benefits by joining as a internship user you can join this nlp internship the regular fee is 199 and for a limited offer we are giving it in a discounted fee at 799 if you are interested the registration link is available in the chat box so this youtube session is actually a 21 day session i'll show you the agenda later but if you join this one month internship it is 30 days for 21 days you will get a participation certificate yes vaishnavi so you have 30 days learning plan which has the basics of machine learning in depth machine learning with machine learning projects and then natural language processing and then till large language model with generative ai we are having it's for anyone anyone can join this internship and get certificate nowadays certificate matter right so you can get all these benefits at 799 and the registration link is posted in the chat box if you want to learn one step more if you want to get all the benefits then you can join the internship as internship user we have another exciting offer for you as well from our side for a few days okay so you can register for our four in one bundle offer this is a new bundle it's a four course in one bundle offer uh, the price is actually less compared with all these four so you can get the benefits of python course 30 days machine learning course nlp course and then generative ai with image so you can get all these four courses in one bundle and the offer you can get it at 1 299 1299 it's a limited offer compared you will be getting four certificates separately even though it's a bundle you get all the four certificates you will also get all the project files of these four video files downloadables you can get all these things at a discounted fee at 1299 it's a discounted offer it's a limited offer and the last date to register for this is 14th of this month so the benefits include 120 records actually 30 day contents four internship 120 days weekly live sessions four certifications okay four one month four month separate certificate 30 plus projects totally downloadable pptes 
internship confirmation letter one year validity and community support from our side yeah so yes so now we can go into how nlp is achieved can we start how nlp is achieved okay 30 day internship alone if you want you can avail it at 799 you can get nlp so if you want from basics i'll tell you the roadmap for learning nlp you need basics of python and machine learning if you want to cover all you can join this bundle offer as well both the link are available how nlp is achieved so we currently don't have a translator uh, project especially but we will be covering the parts of transformer model which is actually the base for translator so if you want uh, we can even include in the internship user for the internship user but it's not included in the 21 days youtube live so how nlp is achieved once again let us discuss the definition of nlp from that i am going to connect the strings now so nlp is a machine learning technology it's a machine learning technology so if you want to understand you need to understand what is machine learning that gives the computers the ability so we are integrating nlp with machine learning so computers can understand okay so what is machine learning then what is machine learning machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence now we go into the ai so for achieving ai machine learning is a tool or the first backbone okay machine learning is a subset or a subfield or a backbone of ai what does machine learning do is it uses statistical techniques See guys, it's just max and statistics, which enables computers to learn from past data and make decisions without being explicitly programmed. So see here guys, if you take a programming language, if you write the code, maybe you are building some application, you are building some web application. Okay. And you want these functionalities. You are explicitly writing the program. You are instructing the computer that keep a form here keep a login form here check this user id and password check with my database that is explicit programming but do we want that no if you just tell the command we want the computer to understand it and infer it not just explicitly programmed with step by step definition we don't want that here we are expecting the machine to take decision and understand and give us result without being explicitly programmed so Machine learning uses statistical techniques to learn from the data and then make this decisions without you explicitly program. So in machine learning, the process actually begins with observation of data. First, the data is observed. Okay. Then it looks at the pattern, tries to learn and match the pattern. Then after that, it can continuously give you results without human intervention or assistance. Okay. So if you ask me what happens in machine learning, if you are completely unaware, this is what exactly happens. Simply you get your past data. Your data may be correct or wrong. You will be analyzing and pre-processing it. Then you will be giving it to your machine learning algorithm. It's a statistical tool which performs max and statistics and gives you proper results or decisions without you explicitly program it. And the problem with machine learning is it is one of the basic form. Okay. It is the backbone, but the basic machine learning can only work with tabular data. So tabular data may be something like a CSV file or a Excel file, which has rows and columns, which is numbers. Okay. So you will be getting some data, which looks something like this. What do we have here? It is a used car data set. It has details of the selling price. Uh, the fuel type, this may be text, you can see petrol, diesel, uh, dealer, manual and all may be text. Uh, maybe this owner will also be text, but they have encoded it into zero or one. Okay. This can be encoded or turned into number as zero or one that will work properly. Okay. We can train. It's a tabular data with numbers because statistical model, your model is statistics. Okay. It can work only with numbers. So your machine learning can do that. But if you go with NLP, your data is not a, your data is not going to be like this. Your data will be something like this. Okay. 
this is a mail data set it's a language data you can see your data is mail content okay so so that's where nlp applies and if you want to learn more about machine learning let me just tell the types of machine learning so in machine learning we have two types one is unsupervised learning where what we used to do is we perform clustering okay we study the data and try to cluster the data okay so that is unsupervised learning or clustering which is something like this if you have this data and if you try to cluster it into different groups you can see these groups these are similar these are similar and these are similar and they have their different as well so regarding the internship or the bundle uh, you will be getting all the courses at a time so it's up to you it's a self paced course in whatever time you want you can watch and you can complete okay so see here so it can be grouped into clusters so that is unsupervised learning and in supervised learning we are just going to map the output to a respective output okay we are going to map the model to predict a respective output it could be something like a classification or regression what is that so see here this is my data see guys this is my data and these are the output i am going to map them to so these are the shapes and this shape is called a circle this shape is called a square and this shape is called a triangle if you have in this way then you can train the statistical model to map this is called a circle this is square this is triangle so after learning you are not explicitly programming it is doing statistics to understand the trend or the pattern so later on if you give a new shape it decides and tell you it's a circle okay so this is supervised learning and it has two types if your output you are mapping to is some category like cold or hot or circle or square or triangle if it's between classes then it's called as classification or if you are predicting a continuous value then it is called as regression if you are predicting a score or a mark or a temperature it's not between classes right that is regression and unsupervised learning we go for categories this is numerical data that's fine your machine learning stays here but if you want to have your natural language data then your machine learning fails to understand the complexity as this okay it's complex you can't just directly convert it into numbers if you try to convert it into meaningful numbers then your model can understand and make prediction especially here look at this we have our text and here zero target zero tells it's a normal mail and one tells it's a spam mail see here free entry this text is a spam mail so we are mapping in supervised learning to predict whether it's a spam mail or a normal mail so this is the part of machine learning and what is the part of nlp we have bunch of human text data right if you find a way to convert it into a meaningful numerical vectors okay not just random or some numbers into zeros and ones if you find a way to tell all the nuances to tell all the idioms or phrases or the sentence or the word like bank if it's with this word it means different if the bank is with this word it means different if you try to fit all of those things in a technique in a method into numerical vectors then that is nlp technique which is going to help us so once you have it in numbers what can happen your human text if it turns into a number then you can give it to your model so that it can make prediction and give us result right so that is the part of machine learning and nlp clear are we clear with the role of nlp so what is this nlp techniques that is what we are going to learn for the next 10 days and then we jump into projects as well right yes and machine learning is actually pretty much basic okay they have their own limitation to overcome that there is a advanced version of machine learning is available which is called as deep learning i hope you guys should have heard this term what is deep learning it is a advanced version of machine learning which does the same task okay it does the same supervised or unsupervised but here instead of that statistical tool we have another mathematical body which things like a human how do it is achieved see here deep learning is a subset of machine learning it's a advanced or subset of machine learning that uses multi layered neural network called deep learning neural network we will be learning this we will create neural network 
so understand guys in our brain we have neurons and neural layer if i touch something the signal will be passed to the brain and the response will be coming back right similarly we have neurons which is a mathematical entity which performs max and we have network of it which learns most of the complexities and get the result okay and this is a simple representation of deep learning neural network we will be learning in depth and we will be implying we will be depending on deep learning neural network why because they have the property of understanding or if you have even like since you are data now is human text data they are complex the patterns cannot be done easily it for basic process your machine learning model can understand the pattern for complex patterns we go with neural network same process and these neural networks are also well versed with image data as well you would have seen image recognition and all uh, image based uh, data are handled only with neural network so they are complex okay and uh, finally what is ai ai is since we discussed about machine learning and deep learning which are backbone of ai ai is a technology that enables computers and machines to simulate human intelligence and problem solving capabilities right ai is a technology that enables computers and machines to simulate human intelligence and problem solving capabilities if you want to have a machine to think like human act like human we want this machine learning and deep learning because deep learning neural networks is what behind your chat gpt or gemini okay so can you understand this ai is achieved with machine learning and deep learning is also helpful for that it's a advanced version or a subset of machine learning then where does nlp comes into play this is what the chart of nlp is it is inside of ai but it is clubbing with machine learning and deep learning giving the power of converting the data so that your machine learning or deep learning model can help to achieve this ai okay so before going and seeing into roadmap once again so if you want to convert this master class into one month certified internship on natural language processing you can join as a internship user you will be getting all these benefits 30 days of recorded sessions 30 day ppt downloadables source code of 10 plus projects which include lord language model and all one month internship certificate participation certificate 90 day access to courses four hackathon in zoom where you can directly interact with me in zoom session and clarify your doubt in community group so to get all these things you can get it at a discounted fee at 799 at the registration link which is posted in chat box and uh, you can join as a internship user and get all these benefits nlp has lot of applications there are lot of companies which are trying to develop their own chatbot or develop their own gpts or language models nowadays india is trying to give or have their regional language models as well so you can get some new trend jobs which are very uh, useful you can go into the linkedin and search for nlp you get all the suggestions which includes data scientist of nlp ai engineer with nlp and machine learning engineer with nlp you can get all these benefits at 799 and uh, you get 30 day contents which includes the basics of machine learning as well as we see nlp is supported or done with machine learning we have the first 11 days for machine learning from the basic libraries and their projects then we go into nlp content and the nlp projects as well if you want you can register for our 4 in 1 bundle 30 days for python 30 day contents for machine learning 30 day contents for nlp and 30 day on generative ai with image as well okay image data you can get all these four in one bundle offer four different certificates at this fee which is 12991299 it's a limited offer which ends by 14th of this week okay this month 14th few days are left and it's actually four certificates 120 hours of content at just this fee 1299 you will get 120 records 30 plus projects four certifications of one month four different certificates downloadable pptes and all uh, it will be given in our lms platform you can it's a self based course you will also get weekly support as well to clarify your doubts 
So continuing with the roadmap. So as you know that we are involved with machine learning and deep learning as well. So let us see about the roadmap. Uh, you should be familiar with the basic Python programming, not that much advanced of solving DSA problems and all that's not required. Uh, you need basic Python skills. Then you need machine learning understanding, then NLP basics, then text pre-processing basics, then embeddings how to turn them into meaningful numbers, text data. Once you have it, you can go into deep learning models like RNN, LSTM, then sequence to sequence models for interaction with your model, then transformer models. Do you guys know the full form of GPT? Anyone know? It is called as chat GPT, right? Chat GPT, GPT is generative pre-trained transformer. So that model is a basic model which was introduced in 2017, which is used for translation. Someone asked for translation, right? Uh, language to language. When we learn about transformer, we'll see how to build it. Okay. And you can jump into LLM application as well. You can create applications. So let us see the agenda for the 21 days. Okay. For 30 days uh, for internship users, you get additional machine learning content for the uh, 11 days. Uh, for the YouTube live free for 21 days, what all contents we are going to see as we have seen today is introduction to NLP and machine learning. Tomorrow on day two, we will be learning regex regex also called as regular expression, which is used for finding some keywords with patterns, which is very important in NLP. We learn that. Then for handling data, we need a library called as pandas for NLP. We will be learning that how to use it for NLP data. And in day four, we will be learning text preprocessing first, which is about tokenization, uh, stemming, lemmatization, stop words. Uh, what's the math behind it? How actually it is working with the base as well. So if you learn, you will also be comfortable in your interviews as well. Okay. And in text pre-processing too, we'll learn about uh, positions, NER, uh, named entity recognition, uh, bag of words, TF, IDF, uh, n-grams. We use Python, Swanish Mahajan, we use Python. Then on day six, we you create a project with our basic machine learning skills with NLP, which is sentiment classification on Amazon reviews using machine learning. Then in day seven, we start introduction to deep learning and TensorFlow basics. Uh, then in day eight, we learn advanced pre-processing, like what is word to work, how it works, what's the math behind it, how it works and all. Average word to work and all. Then advanced pre-processing implementation. Then in day 10, we learn architectures like RNN and LSTM architecture walkthrough. Then in day 11, we go with next word prediction. The suggestions come, right? We are going to create our next word predictor using LSTM. So if you start typing, it is going to give you the next word prediction. We'll do it from scratch. Yes, you can continue. It will be pretty much basic. Python is very basic. You can understand. Please try to cope up. In day 12, we will learn generating poetic text with LSTM. And in day 13, we learn fake news classifier using bidirectional LSTM as a project. In day 14, we learn sequence to sequence model. And in day 15, we are going to create our own text summarizer using LSTM encoder decoder architecture. You should be le learning the basics till functions is enough. And in day 16, we go into LLM introduction, large language model introduction into generative AI, transformers architecture. Then in day 17, we learn how to use hugging face to get a pre-trained model and how to fine tune it on our custom data set. We have a lot of models available from Google, Facebook and all. You can take it, you can train it on your own data and you can use it for your own purpose. We will see how to do it. And in day 18, we are going to create with Llama 2 and Pinecode, chat with books and PDF files. Okay, how to chat with a book. So you can add a PDF or any PDF of a book. If you give it, you can chat with it. Okay. So we create that application. Then in day 19, we are going to see about blog generation LLM. Then in day 20, we learn SQL query LLM. So that's what this application actually is. I have posted on app, right? It is live. Uh, I want you guys to check it out. Okay. We will be building this SQL query LLM. 
and in 21 we learn about youtube video transcript summarizer using llm map so this is the agenda so are we clear with this till now till the agenda are we ready to start the next steps yes are you guys familiar or okay with the agenda now it will start any time so you can join the internship it will be like it is your uh, self paced course you can start it any time you want have anyone tried using that application uh, i hope that data uh, is uh, it's a trending content right ipl and we have a data till 2022 i hope so please check it out it will give you a query and the result from my data set as well yeah and thanks for the response so finally we conclude with uh, something known as data collection this is our last topic for today as we know we are completely reliable on data right we need data for our process to keep on running okay so data collection uh, do anyone know how to collect data or what is data collection because data is our raw material it could be tabular data it could be nlp data maybe if you are trying to build something known as a uh, text to uh, sql query so you need a data set which has what is your text and what is the exact query you want right so how to collect or create it apart from that we have medical data uh, like heart data set diabetes data set and all how it is collected can anyone know can you guys tell me some data collection method very good web scraping right so data collection is a process of gathering and measuring information of interest in a systematic fashion okay which could be used for research purpose and all so if you are learn for planning to learn ai santosh please start with python then learn machine learning and then deep learning then you can start and go into ai comfortably okay so the data collection part of research is common to all fields of study so talking about the data collection okay so you can collect it from devices maybe if you guys know there are some fitbands or iot devices which is going to give you the data every time uh, maybe uh, like people the companies are collecting from you right how much time you spend how much time you walk what is your uh, stamina what is your calories burnt and all all these data can be taken from device you can scrap it from website for nlp you can collect maybe if you want to analyze twitter content twitter tweets you can collect it from social media uh, stakeholders will be giving you from their database right maybe if you are building a nlp application for a company about their reviews the company is going to give you their own data so that is one you can also create surveys right online surveys and all you can create a google form send it to your friends you can collect your own data set these are some data collection which these are creation methods okay you can create at the same time there are some complex data set which is you can't do it's a big process and there are some organizations which are doing this we have some data collection sites something called as kaggle uci machine learning repository and there is a site uh, which is a search engine which is data set search google data set search you can search data sets here let us try kaggle is actually if you look at kaggle uh it is a open source platform for data science for projects downloadables and all uh you can run your notebook as well see here i am training a model with gpu now and uh, here you can go into the data set tab you can just create a account here in the uh, site kaggle there are competitions going on uh, there are a lot of data sets available you can search for a data tab uh, like spam mail if i search so you can click the data sets you'll be getting all the data sets which is posted by someone in the open source okay yeah there are a lot more giri yes if you scroll below you can find the data set there is our text this is our text is available uh, this is a ham mail which has this subject and the content inside this is a spam mail which has this subject all the text data or tabular data you can download from here or you can also use google data set search 
okay so you can use this google data set search it is a search engine where you can search for data maybe uh, sql or text to sql data set it will redirect you to you to different site we have a data set at hugging face we have a data set as kaggle so it is a directory which is going to direct you to different sites for downloads so you can get it from these places so this is google data set search as well so these are some data collection sites so in our next session we are going to discuss about regex or regular expression so we'll see you in tomorrow session day 2 thank you thank you everyone for attending so we have completed our day 1 successfully and now we are into our day 2 for moving towards regular expression right so any queries this is time for queries so if you have any queries you can post it down uh, in the chat box and before winding up if you are planning to convert or improve your learning learn one step ahead you can join this one month internship certified internship on nlp you will be getting 30 days of recorded sessions 90 days of access to all the records 30 day pptes downloadables 10 plus source codes of project files one month internship certificate 90 days of access to all the records four hackathon in zoom you can get all these at 799 and the registration link is available in the chat box so if you join this one month internship you will get the basics of machine learning see here pandas numpy matplotlib seaborn basic pre processing of machine learning data encoding outlier detection handling train test split feature selection modeling evaluation churn prediction and a sale prediction for a fmcg company clustering project for mall customer so this is machine learning then we start nlp here on regex then the remaining contents come for these are all projects which are in blue color we have 10 plus projects with all the files and if you want to learn from scratch with python machine learning nlp as well as generative ai with image you can get it as a bundle so this is a good offer which is four in one bundle offer we will discuss about bert with transformers and uh, you can get all four in one in bundle you can use the registration link this is four courses at one no one gives you at this price this is at 1299 Uh, link is available it's a limited offer uh, by this weekend this is going to be ending so if you are planning to buy please make sure you are doing it before that and uh, it is a 120 uh, records so you will get 30 days for all the four so it's totally 120 uh, with weekly live sessions one month internship certification for all the four four certificates 30 plus projects downloadable presentations uh, one year validity and community support as well So yeah thank you all we'll see you tomorrow in the next session thank you even if you are from core department it's not a issue nowadays whatever core department you belong to or whatever domain you belong to every domain has their own nlp applications and machine learning roles uh, the competition is actually less there and it's a very uh, required thing right now so you can shine in that as well with your combination of this knowledge as well as your core lang uh, knowledge so please tell which core department you belong to then i can tell every company has nlp now 